Some recipes are like a time machine. See where I go back in time to today. Mm. So here we have our ingredients. Pretty simple stuff. We have one egg. We have a half a cup of super fine almond flour. Uh, most recipes that uh, do sausage balls call for uh, Bisquick. Uh, that's definitely not low carb, so super fine almond flour. Try that out. Anyway, moving on, I've got a half a cup of sour cream, uh, a teaspoon of uh, baking powder, and I've got some Jack's seasoning in here, just some of my favorite spices that I like. Uh, this is optional, but you can put your favorite seasoning in there as well. I've got approximately two cups of cheddar cheese. I've got uh, habanero cheese and just white cheddar from Cabot's. I like cabbage cheese. I think it tastes great. And star of the show is a pound of sausage. Whatever your favorite breakfast sausage is. Today it just happens to be Jimmy Dean, but there we go. So now the key to this is, is going to throw it all in a bowl and do some mixing. Okay, so here I have my handy dandy blue collar bowl, mixing bowl, aka Rubbermaid. I'm sure you've got a fancier mixing bowl than me, but that's all right, I'm gonna get it done. So we're gonna just throw all of our ingredients in here and you do need a, a pretty good sized bowl uh, for this, but I'm gonna just start throwing it all in. My grandma was the one that got me started eating sausage balls and uh, she'd make them for Christmas every year and. It was such a special treat. Uh, unfortunately, um, they are not keto, and she did leave the recipe, and everybody knows the recipe for sausage balls, but I missed having sausage balls. So I found a, this keto alternative, which I like a lot, and also not just my grandmother, but uh, another sweet lady, a dear friend of my wife's. But yeah, she would make them for uh, church dinners and things like that. And we always have a uh, New Year's celebration and she'd bring them to that. So anytime I eat sausage balls, I think about my grandma and Mary. So, but anyway, we've got that in there. Now let's just mix it all up real good. And then we'll scoop it out into a pan and carry on. Yeah, this is my blue collar mixer. Uh, some of have probably got a fancy one, but uh, I got the ones that I got. So, blue collar mixer. <laughs> okay, it comes out to looking a little something like this. Now I'm gonna utilize my fancy dancy cookie scooper and put them on a pan. So now the only thing left to do is scoop them out and put them on a pan. Now, this is parchment paper. I pretty much use this every time I bake. This recipe might not need it, I don't know, but just to keep things from sticking, this works really well. But when you get down to the bottom of the roll, if you're familiar with it, you know it gets all, it'll roll up and do all kinds of crazy things. But just a neat little trick uh, to make it stay put is to wad it up. Like you're gonna throw away a piece of paper, and then unfold it and you can put it in your pan, fold it up to make it fit or whatever. That's just a handy little tip to know because uh, I have wrestled with it, sort of like cling wrap. I can't stand that stuff, but I know that there's probably a tip for that. But anyway, there that is. And we'll uh, start scooping out the uh, sausage balls. We want about a golf ball size or about a cookie scooper size. And we'll just take our time here Try to get them even. And if you're interested in keto, the keto lifestyle and low carb living or whatever, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I'm constantly doing little things like this. Just, uh, this is what I'm cooking for my lunch today and I got to craving them and wanting them. So here they are and I'm sharing them with you. I think you'll like these. I think that, uh, they are a good replacement for just regular old sausage balls. That's just my opinion, but give them a try. See if you like them. And uh, everything I do on my channel is very simple. 
uh, very easy there's nothing hard um, the purpose of my whole channel is to let you know if I can do it well by golly you can do it too <laughs> so subscribe and like if you want to and now let's get these things plopped out Okay, I've got a second pan here. I don't want to crowd them too much, so we're just going to keep on doing the process and get them in the oven. So here they are. They all rolled out. I did take a minute to do a little bit of this to make them even and dress them up a little bit, but we're going to go throw them in an oven that's preheated at uh, 375 degrees for approximately 25 minutes or until they're 165 degrees in the middle so let's get them going mm. all right friends here's the final product good old sausage balls and i let mine cook a little bit longer than 30 minutes because uh, i like them brown so but you can cook them how you like them now it's time to dig in all right you know this is my favorite part tasting the food let's try it out here now, I'm just be real with you. Most of the recipes I make, when I get to this little segment, I have never tasted before in my entire life. So I'm still waiting on that one day to when I pick up something and go, ugh. It hasn't happened yet because I kind of know what I like. But I have tried these. Like I said, these are a staple. <laughs> well, not really a staple. These are a special occasion food for me, and I know that I love them, but hey. I'm always looking for an excuse to eat a sausage ball, so here goes. Mm. You know, one of the most awesome things about food is it'll take you to a place and time, people in your life. Hey, I can't help but to think about Mama eating sausage balls. Can't help but to think about my friend Mary uh, and my wife. She makes them for me for my birthday sometimes. So yeah, I'm transported to these people. I have great memories of all of them. And, uh, but yeah, sausage balls, give them a try. Mm. I'm going to eat nut. Mm. Yes, I love those sausage balls. My problem is if I make a batch of them, I'll keep snacking on them. They're good cold to me. I'll just go get them out of the fridge and I'll be snacking on them. And before you know it, I've ate too many and then I'm mad at myself for doing that. So gotta watch your portions, but hey, enjoy those sausage balls. And you know what? You don't even have to wait till Christmas to make them. Go get you some, try them out. Tell me what you think. Until next time, eat well and may the Lord bless you.